All right, so what I'm doing today, I got some surface rust, a lot of it. Got some on the trunk. A lot of it up here on the roof. That's pretty bad over there. And a few spots on the hood. Not that bad, but enough to enough to cause concern. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. So what I'm using is a, so I think this is a oh, five inch orbital sander. I'm going with 220. It's not that bad. I got 220, but I do have, I believe what I get, 120, and I don't know if I'm gonna need the 80. Yeah, probably not gonna need the 80, but 120, if some of that, like for this right here, I might use the 120 on that if the 220 don't cut it. Tape, mask off my trim because I'm not gonna, not removing that yet. I got some rust performer. I'm actually gonna use this on the door. There's some spots on the inside of the door. I'll show you all later. And then of course, self inching primer since I'm taking that down to the metal. Paint's pretty thin. This is mostly primer. So there's just a few spots that was left bare metal when it was put in storage. And then when it was uh, sitting outside. So. That's what we're doing today. All right, so I ended up using the the 120 because that rust was it was pretty heavy. So I knocked everything down with 120. As you can see, the see the roof compared to the trunk. That's next. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking all that down. But what I did was I went ahead and sprayed, I went ahead and sprayed some of this. All right, you see how this has like an orange cast? Check this spot out right here. See, I sprayed it on there and it turns the rust into black. And it's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to paint over that. So what I'm gonna do is once I get done taking all that down, I'm gonna hit it with a layer of that uh, rust remover before I hit the self etching primer. All right, so this is a rust, it says rust performer. What it is, it's a rust converter. Says destroys rust on contact by bonding and transforming it into a sandable and paintable surface. The, the instructions or so direction says it's dry to the touch in two to three hours and it fully cures in 24. So I should have read that before I sprayed it on that area. So I did a pretty big area. But I'll let that sit up for tomorrow and I'll finish the other side. Two coats are recommended to ensure proper conversion. Hmm, okay. Now that I now that I read the instructions, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-treat this area right here. That way it can sit up for tomorrow. And it should make it easier for me to sand it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this up now. They say reading is fundamental. I think some of this is just rusty water. <laughs> <laughs> 